All right, so I got another video for you today. I am up in northeastern Pennsylvania, specifically in the Delaware Water Gap National Recreational Area. Uh, this is right on the uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey border, just north of Stroudsburg on the outskirts of the Poconos. I am on the uh, Pennsylvania side, obviously, as a uh, Pennsylvania resident. The reason I'm up here is I've fished here a couple other times in the past, um, had a wonderful experience. It's not as trouty as many other areas in Pennsylvania. I don't know if that has to do with overfit overfishing or you know maybe acid mine drainage or just other general environmental factors um, but there are some trout up here so it's not only uh, stock trout in some of the larger streams but also some uh, wild brown trout and even native brook trout in some of the smaller streams uh, I probably won't be naming the streams I'm gonna be fishing today we're just gonna um, kind of run and gun we're gonna hit at least two maybe three different streams um, it is uh, fall uh, fall foliage has almost fully run its course it is a Saturday, so it may be a little bit crowded on some of these streams. We shall see. Uh, temperatures today are in the low 60s, a little bit overcast. It's actually going to be quite windy as well, uh, so fly fishing will be somewhat difficult. But anyways, yeah, we're up in the Delaware Water Gap National Recreational Area. I think it's about 70 or 80,000 acres. Um, really pretty country. I mean, you have the, the Delaware River cutting through the heart of the park. Uh, waterfalls, hiking trails. I think the Appalachian Trail runs through here. Uh, great wildlife. So I'm excited to get back up here. I haven't been here in probably over a year. So uh, anyways, we're, we're pushing as far north uh, to the northernmost stream that we're gonna fish today and then start working our way back south. So after a relatively dry um, fall so far, we got blasted by about 12 or 16 hours of rain yesterday. I was really hoping the streams up here wouldn't be uh, too high because of how low they were prior to the rain. Looking at this stream, which albeit is the largest we're gonna fish, water levels do look a little high. Um, I wouldn't say unfishably high. Uh, the waters up here generally in the Poconos area are more um, tannic uh, because of the acidity, acidity level of the waters. So, um, you know, I expected it to be a little bit dark. Yeah, you know, this actually is fishable. I'll, I'll take this, I'm not gonna complain. It's a little higher than I'd want, but, um, yeah, anyway, so because of the amount of the volume of water in the streams today because of the rain yesterday, uh, this is definitely the biggest stream I'm going to fish. Uh, like I said, I'm keeping my uh, hopes very low. If we could just catch a couple today, I think that'd be a wonderful little morning slash afternoon. So this is the first stream we're going to hit. We're going to work up to some waterfalls, maybe go over them. Who knows? But uh, yeah, let me start pushing in. We'll see what happens. So I was on this specific stream just one other time. Uh, I missed one trout, didn't catch any others, I don't think. Maybe I caught one. Um, but I saw like a 20 plus inch monster uh, brown, which I assume was a uh, transient from the Delaware River. Um, so that's why I wanted to come back here, just in case some of those uh, migratory monster browns are running up into here to the, uh, this, this time of year. It's a bit windy, as you can probably see and hear. Alright, so no bites yet. No love really at all. Uh, I switched from a small Prince Nymph. As you can see by the water, it's very tannic generally. And I think because of all the rain, it's even darker. Um, and then there's a lot of leaves churning. So I'm thinking maybe the fish couldn't really see my Prince Nymph at all. So I did switch to a white woolly bugger. Hopefully that will stand out a little bit more in the water. We shall see. Um, really not thinking I don't know if it's gonna happen for me today who knows um, but uh, yeah definitely more water in the stream than I was hoping for so we got evidence of some relatively old beaver activity going underneath this widow maker right here still no bites still no bites um, really slowly giving up hope I think we're gonna work our way up to this area is popular for some large waterfalls. I think we're gonna go above the waterfalls, fish for maybe, I don't know, like 45 minutes, 
and then probably not call it a day but maybe just transition to another stream uh hopefully some of the smaller streams um some of this water has sort of run its course since last night who knows Finally got a fish. Finally got a fish. Looks like a nice little wild brown. Really didn't think there'd be wild browns in here. I thought they'd be all stalkers, but we'll take it. Oh, we got him. All right, so he hit the woolly bugger. That's wonderful. We got a nice like 10 inch wild brown. So yeah, let's get the hook out of him. Take a freaking look at him. Sorry I missed it on the GoPro. That's wonderful. All right, so we just got a really gorgeous, butte, butte, butte of a wild brown excellent colors on this fish wonderful reds wonderful reds take a look at this guy Ooh, beautiful beautiful colors we're gonna get him right out of here i'm gonna put him at right about 10 or 11 inches that's a solid fish let's get him out of here let's get him out of here So I'm trying to get over these waterfalls. There's this wonderful set of uh, stairs, super packed here. But um, yeah, I've actually, although I fished this stream once before, I never came up here. So again, my hope is I can get up over the waterfalls and hopefully there's some trout up there. We shall see. All right, so we got up over the falls and of course there's this wonderful pool, literally right, right when you get past the falls. So, uh, yeah, falls are probably like 100 yards that way max. So yeah, let me move up here, start fishing. All right, so we came uh, a little ways up, not too, too far up above the falls on this Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area stream that we're fishing. Not getting a lot of love um, at all, aside from that one wild brown we caught phew, like an hour and a half ago. Um, haven't had any other bites, so I think once we fish this little stretch right here, pretty sure we're gonna bail and then head to another stream um so that's the plan all right so we left that other stream behind we put in a solid like three hours there um i'm kind of beat but before we leave the delaware water gap at least for today i did find another smaller stream uh which hopefully will fish a little bit better so let me work down to this stream uh it should have i think i don't know if it's stockfish or wild fish who knows So I switched from a white woolly bugger to a smaller, I don't even really know what kind of nymph it is, honestly. It's got like a little hot spot on it. It kind of looks like a prince nymph, but it's not. Uh, and I just had my first bite. Nice, I would say, like seven or eight inch wild brown, but he did, he did pop off after like two seconds. So, I mean, that sucks, but it also means that these fish will hit this specific nymph. So that's a good start. I mean, it's a little bit later in the afternoon. I really only have like another hour or so to fish, but it seems like, as I almost fall, seems like I may have found something that they'll eat. So that's, that's something. Just got another fish. Let's see if we can land them. Feels pretty decent, but also the current's running pretty hard, so who knows. Oh, it feel, doesn't feel bad. Oh, that's a brownie. Well, that's a nice brownie for this stream. That's a pretty nice brownie. Oh, got him. Oh, no, I missed him. Shh, crap. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Got him. All right, so we just got a solid eight or nine inch wild brown. That's that's pretty wonderful. So, uh, yeah, let's get the hook out of him. Take a freaking look at him. Get him back in the water. So for this relatively small stream, this is one of the better fish you're going to get. Um, 
Let's take a look at this guy and get him right out of here. Hold on, bud. Hold on. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous colors on this fish. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get you out of here, bud. We'll get you out of here. One of the prettier fish I've seen in a while. Truly. Truly. Oh, he's trying to get out of here. Hold on. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous colors on this fish. Wet my hands. Wet my hands. Oh, dude, that's a really... Never know where the GoPro's at. That's a real solid fish. Let's get him right out of here. He's out of here. Woo! All right. All right, so I just got my second wild brown. Sorry, I sorry I missed it on camera. That's that's definitely a scrub move. Anyways, it's just a little wild brown. Hit the same same exact nymph. So we're gonna get the hook out of him. We already just took a look at him, so we don't need to do that again. But we're gonna get him out of here. Oh, got him. Got him. Awesome. Got him. All right, so we just got our fourth wild brown trout of the day. It's getting dark. That might be the last one. Probably good six, seven inch wild brown. So let's, let's get the hook out of him. Take a look at him, right? All right, so by no means a giant, but definitely a solid little wild brown. We love seeing the different uh, age classes. Um, so this is probably a good six, seven inch wild brown. Excellent, excellent colors as always. Let's get him out of here. See you later, bud. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, so with darkness approaching, um, daylight savings has kicked in. And if you're a fisherman, you know that's pretty much the worst. Um, anyway, so today we were out in the Delaware Water Gap National Recreational Area in northeastern Pennsylvania. We managed to fish uh, two different streams, kind of a medium-sized stream earlier, and then a uh, smaller stream here. And although it wasn't a banner day, uh, numbers-wise, um, we did manage to catch uh, four wild brown trout total, all on the fly rod, which is pretty nice for me. Um, the Delaware Water Gap is uh, a really neat area. I mean, there's great hiking, the waterfalls are, for Pennsylvania, aside from Ricketts Glen, some of the best waterfalls um, in the state but I mean, the best fishing is really like the Delaware River. You got, you know, the annual shad runs, you got the striper runs, you got, you know, smallmouth bass, musky, walleye, etc. cetera. Um, and these tributaries, although they're great, I mean, obviously there's wild fish in them. I think they're a little too like acidic and, and tannic to really be, you know, high quality, super, super um, quality streams. I don't, I don't know what, what just happened to me, but um, anyway, so uh, yeah, I think that's all we got for today. As always, thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.